What is up guys, Grim here, and today I have an After Effects tutorial for you guys, and I know I haven't put out like an edit or anything in a while, and that's because I'm working on um, montage clips for my own episode one of whatever. <laughs> so today I just have a really quick tutorial, and it's on using a CC lens thing, and um, maybe I'll make a muffled audio tutorial on After Effects after this. So yeah. Well, first of all, I'm just going to import a quick clip. Uh, I use this clip for a lot of stuff. Where is it? Let's look up cat. Oh, it's under my Grim folder. Desktop, Grim. Da -da 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 -da. Catwalk, there we go. Uh, it's the Final Cut Pro ready ones there. Okay. Uh, open. Importing selected items. Why is it laggy? Oh, there we go. Okay. So let's just make a new composition and we'll call this tutorial. Whoops, that was a fail. Tutorial. Uh, I have my preset HD 720, 60 frames per second, 1280 by 720, 59.94 frames per second. Uh, okay. And then we'll import our clip in and let's just put this to half and let's RAM preview it. Okay. Uh, computer's being really slow right now. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm running Google Chrome at the same time, which is stupid of me. Yeah, okay. And let's just see how this RAM previews out. Perfect. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is duplicate your clip and then take the first one. And first of all, we're just going to look up CC lens, lens and we'll just get that ready. Okay, so for the uh, first of all, actually, we're going to go effects presets, take the first one and have no color correction. And then the second one, we're going to look up magic bullet looks or whatever you use to color correct. I'm just going to put, oops. I'm going to put magic bullet looks on because it's what I usually use to color correct. And let's just add a preset. Uh, I have sexy agony CC. Perfect. Perfect. Cool. Okay. And then let's put CC lens onto it as well. You can see that when you go like that. Okay. So now you're going to want to find where he shoots. Right about the. Oops. Shoot. there okay now we're gonna go find out where he shoots and then a frame before he shoots you're going to go on to the first one and you're gonna keyframe the size and then gonna go on to where he shoots and you're gonna drag it all the way out. oh wait you're gonna go a little bit after he shoots like just like a few frames you're gonna drag it out so it goes to there and then let's just watch it's going to RAM preview really slow because I got color correction on it, but this is what a lot of big editors are doing right now, and I thought I'd try it out for my next edit that I'm actually going to use, so yeah. Uh, that was really glitchy. Let's see what it looks like. I might have glitched out and messed up. Yeah, what the heck. Do, 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 do. Whoa, there, that looks CC lens. There we go. Now let's see what it looks like. Uh, that's way too slow. Uh, that's why I forgot I don't have this 
There we go. We only want it to take about there. First key. <laughs> Uh, this is having some complications, but you get the picture. As you can see, it does that, and then it shifts into the color correction, which is a really cool effect. Um, a lot of editors... Ah, uh, my phone's going off. A lot of editors are using it uh, right now. But, yeah. So, there's that, and then let's do it. Good job. Why is this builder on? After Effects. Composition precompose. Where is it? Precompose shot and CC lens. Okay, so then now it. It's already in a pre-composition. I'm just going to do that to make it easier on myself right now. And then right as it shoots. Okay. And then I'm going to find... I'll show you the, the cool explosion dull thing that a lot of people are using. And I find it. Explosion doll dot W-A-V. Perfect. There we go. And let's just drag it onto there. And let's find LL and LL. And right where he shoots, we're going to want to drag it. And if you'll hear when I ram preview this, it's not, the explosion doesn't really do much. Uh, let's just turn off the sound there. Explosion doesn't really do much. Uh, so to increase that, you're gonna effect audio bass and treble, and let's put the bass up to 50, and the treble on five, and then let's see what that sounds like. Oops. So it's a little more bassy, but not enough. There we go. Let's try that. That's a lot better. And we're also going to increase the volume to about plus 12. Let's see how that sounds. Perfect. And that's what we want. And then we're going to go audio delay and just change the delay amount to about 5. Let's just. Uh, yeah. And then the. About 10. Now, let's see. And I find that to be a really cool effect. And let's just turn that back on and let's watch the clip. Just let it RAM preview here. And there we go. And you can add like a cool song in there. Um, I'm going to edit this clip a little more and put it on at the end. And I'll show you what it looks like. And I'm also going to add how to do the muffled audio in the next tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Grim signing out. Later guys.